AA, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to download Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 and install that, get it all up and running for no price at all, completely free. All I ask is that you guys go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Leaving a like helps it in the algorithm and subscribing helps me hit 100,000 subscribers which is the goal I've been trying to hit for so long. So if you like these types of videos I plan on posting a ton of more AI tutorials in the future. Definitely subscribe it really helps me out and that is all I ask for. With that out of the way, let's get right into this tutorial. It's actually really easy to do. It may sound complicated. You don't need to have any coding experience or anything like that, but you will need to download some coding type programs. So the first thing we need to download is actually Python. Most of you might already have this on your PC, but if you don't, I'll have all the links down below for Python. You just wanna to go to this page right here, scroll to the bottom and then go click Windows Installer 64-bit and that will download it. You can press keep if that pops up. So that should be in your downloads. The next thing we want to do is go to this Git link that will also be linked down in the description. And these links might be inside of an AdFly link. Simply just click skip ad and that's how you get past the AdFly link. I'm not 100% sure if they will be, but if they are, that's how you get past it. But once you get to this page, you just want to click 64 bit get for windows setup and we are going to press keep on that as well and the last thing you want to download is in this google drive i might have a backup linked below if the google drive gets taken down but if it doesn't what you can do is just right click and go and press download but we might get an error because too many people are downloading this so as you guys can see download quota exceeded for this file uh don't worry Basically, too many people are downloading this at once and Google Drive puts a restriction on it. A way to bypass this is right clicking it and hitting make a copy. And this will make an exact copy of this file that you can actually download. Now, once that copy is created, you just want to right click the copy and press download. And it should allow you to download. If you are still having issues, I'll probably include a backup link. That's like a mega file that you can just download. Um, so that will be linked down in the description, probably in an AdFly link as well. Alrighty, once you have everything downloaded, you can make a new folder. I just made one on my desktop called, or in my download story called SS Diffusion. And I just realized I spelled Diffusion wrong. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. Uh, you want to drag all those into a folder just to keep everything organized. So we have our Git our Python and then soon to be the super SD RAR folder that's just downloading right now because it is such a massive file and I decided to delete it for this tutorial so I could reinstall it and I forgot how long it actually took to download. It's going to take probably like 15 minutes because my Wi-Fi sucks but in the meantime we can actually set up Python so what you want to do is actually click the exe and this will open up the installer. Next thing you do when the installer pops up you want to make sure both these boxes are checked this will not work if they aren't checked so make sure that's in place and go to install now it's going to ask you if you want to allow the app to make changes you just want to hit yes i know my screen just went black but that's what it was asking it should be the same on your end as well and now it's installing python now once python is installed the next thing you want to actually install is git and do the same process by just double clicking it letting it make changes on your pc and selecting install once the git setup wizard is complete you can just click finish Alrighty, so my super sd file is still downloading so i'm going to wait for that to be done downloading and i'll be back with the tutorial in the meantime if you guys want to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton Alrighty, and what felt like a decade we finally have our super sd 2.0 downloaded what you want to do is drag that into the folder that we created and then you want to extract it don't know how to extract it or don't have winrar i'll have the links to download winrar down below you can also use seven zip i actually have both of them i don't know why but we're going to use winrar so we're just going to extract to and super sd and it's just going to create a folder in which we can open up and utilize the program already once it is extracted we just want to click that and type in this bar right here cmd you just want to hit enter and it's going to load a 
command prompt, a CMD file for this folder. This might look confusing. Trust me, it is not. You won't have to code anything or type in any complicated phrases. The next thing you want to do is type in or copy and paste the code that will be linked down in the description. So once that's typed out, it should look something like this. If yours looks like that, then perfect. You copy and paste it in the right line. And all you want to do is hit enter. And if this code comes up that says done, you have done everything everything correct up to this point. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to your super SD folder and then open that up and right click the model.ckpt file, but don't double right click, just hit it once. Then what you want to do is on your keyboard, hit control and X, and then you want to go into the stable diffusion web UI folder, open up the models folder, and then open up stable diffusion. And what you want to do on your keyboard is hit control V on your or keyboard and that will paste in that model file. Next thing you want to do is go back to Stable Diffusion Web UI and you want to double click on webui.user and you want to make sure it's the batch file not the shell script so we're going to double click this and it will start downloading all the dependencies needed for this to work like i said all very simple stuff it sounds confusing i don't even understand it to its fully extent but you don't have to to install it you just need to follow these steps and you are chilling so this process is going to take some time like maybe 10 to 15 minutes so i'm going to come back once it's done installing it's going to take that long on your end but once again this is another checkpoint if you guys like this video leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel it helps me out Alrighty, once it is done after a long period of time actually it wasn't too too long it probably took me like 10 to 15 minutes you will get a url which is pasted right here this is that url so you can actually copy it by just dragging over and hitting Control c on your keyboard and then what you want to do is open up a browser in chrome and i'm just going to make it its own tab just so you guys aren't confused and we're going to paste that in there and bam as you can see we now have stable diffusion in our browser it really was that easy to set up so there's a ton of different features within this super stable diffusion 2.0 program and I can't go over all of them today but I will go over some of the basics on what you can and can't do now if you guys are having an issue with your preview being a black screen or a black output I actually have the fix to that I know some computers have this issue and it's actually a pretty simple fix so what you want to do is go back to that super sd folder and you want to change all the folders to make sure there is no spaces in them so as you can see i added a dash in between ss and diffusion and then i also added dashes in this folder for whatever reason this causes a glitch within the system and another thing you want to do is go to web ui user go to edit and you want to add in this code right here so just pause the video or whatnot type this out, add it into your web user, go to file and hit save. Keep in mind, this is only if you're having issues. If you're not having issues, fantastic. Most of you guys won't have these issues, but this is the fix to that. Now, if you ever want to close the program down and rerun it, it's actually really simple. So let's do that right now. Um, as you can see, our CMD is closed and the diffusion is closed. All you want to do to open that up is go to your super SD folder, stable diffusion, scroll down to web ui user batch file open that up and you're just going to continue that same process where you wait for it to spit out the url that you paste in your browser and then bam you can use the program within the browser and it won't take as long as it as it did the first time since everything's already installed it'll take like literally 30 seconds to spit out that url that you can go and copy and bam just like that we have our url i also can't confirm if it's the same url every time but from the looks of it it is so maybe if you wanted to you could just run that program and paste in the url and save it somewhere i don't know up to you anyways let's get back to showcasing all of the features not all of them because that would literally take me five hours because there's so many features but the main cool ones that you probably want to know how so obviously the first thing being how do you generate something well it is as simple as adding in a prompt so let's do clown holding knife 
corn field balloons and Halloween because it's around Halloween time. And in the negative prompt, this is what we don't want. So let's say the color red. Let's put the color red as what we don't want in this image. And we're just going to hit generate. We got the width and the height at 512 by 512. This is in pixels. So if you want to change the width or height of your image, you just use this scroll bar. Very easy to do. Uh, the sampling method, I won't go into that. Kind of confusing. But I will have a link down below where you can go and read up on every single feature. I'm just showcasing all of the basic ones. And bam, as you guys can see, we have our spit out image. And there is zero red within this image. We have the clown in a cornfield holding a knife and some balloons. Now, another cool thing is you can actually take photos that you have on your PC and put them into the program and you can add prompts to it. So let's say skull, we want negative. So this will hopefully remove the skull that's in his hand. And it looks like there is a cloudy background. We want to change that to stormy background with tornado. I'm just testing all these prompts for the first time. So I don't know how well they're going to turn out. Obviously, you want to do a lot more research into what prompts you're putting so you'll get better results. I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial to show you all the different options. Another thing we can do while we wait for this to load is the batch image to image option where you can essentially drop in like a batch amount of photos. So you could do like 20 photos at once with the same prompt. So if you have a really cool prompt that you want to add to a whole bunch of photos, let's say you want to make your whole camera roll anime style or something like that. Well, you could do that using batch and it would save a ton of time instead of individually uploading each photo that would take so long, right? So very cool option. Another cool thing is there is in paint as you guys can see here, but there's also out painting, which essentially you upload a photo and you and the AI creates a larger version of that photo. So I actually have an example right here. So here's the original. And then when you out paint it, it's going to create more of that background. So you can create small photos and make them larger, which is very cool. Now for in painting, it is another really cool option. So we're going to take that same photo and upload it. But we're actually going to select the draw pencil tool and we're going to change the size. So I'm going to make it slightly larger and I'm just going to draw over this skull and there's so many different settings you can choose from you can make it more blurred and all of that stuff in the meantime our photo actually uploaded and yeah that was definitely not the right prompt because we just destroyed this photo I think adding in that tornado completely messed it up but yeah that's a really cool option Another th cool thing you can do is actually restore the face. So a lot of times what happens with this AI art for realistic photos of humans, uh, the faces will get incredibly distorted. As you guys can see, like the eyes look really weird. The nose, I guess the nose isn't horrible, but just the eyes look awful. But in that restoration with the code former and the GFP GAN, it looks so much better. But yeah, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Like I said, I wasn't going to go too in depth on all of the settings, but I will have that GitHub link that goes super in depth on all the settings if you want to check that out. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. As you guys can see, it got rid and displaced the hand a little bit, although it wasn't really perfect. Definitely want to fix that up. And I could if I did more prompts, but as I said, this is just a tutorial to show you how to install this, not a tutorial on how to make your prompts better. If you like these AI art tutorials though, make sure to let me know in the comments section.